Here's some bonus footage, a rare clip of the S2000 prototype being tested on the old course at Germany's famous Nürburgring. Here we go. Great acceleration from the start. We're here as tourists today. That means there's slow cars all around. drive cars are always fun to drive. Mm, this is the old starting point. Hey, what are you doing? Please, get out of the way! The car is handling these corners nicely. A bit wobbly here. Just went into sixth here. Pretty fast. I think the cornering speed is close to the NSX Type S. Very good balance. Let's check out the brakes. Not bad at all. The road is kind of bumpy here. The body rigidity is incredible. How's the uphill from this point? Not 
bad. But from here, the speed will be around 125 miles per hour. And I've got the top down. Hope it doesn't affect the aerodynamics. The quality of this prototype is already at a high level. I'm humming along at 120 miles per hour. The exit speed here is about the same as that of the NSX. Ooh, the way the rear is sliding. That's what rear wheel drives are all about. Here too, the body is really firm. There's some minor adjustments that need to be done, but Honda's done an impressive job. It's amazing that they can produce such cars. I mean, this isn't Scuba or some other circuit in Japan. We're at Nürburgring. This car's cranking along just fine here. Actually, it might be faster than the NSX around here. That's fast. Let me check out the zebra zone. I lost some stability when I got off the curb, but I was able to come downhill full throttle. Wow. This is amazing. We're not timing this, but it should be a good lap. Look how fast this car is. Oh yeah. The straight end acceleration is impressive. I felt that this car is faster than the normal NSX Coupe and maybe a good match against the NSX Type S. Well, it's a darn shame we couldn't feel what this car can really do on this last straightaway but we don't have the track to ourselves today. I just had a run at the old course. The car is very fast. I haven't had a chance to run on this track since I tested the NSX Type S. So it's been a while. Anyhow, the SSM, as it's temporarily called now, was outstanding even as a prototype. We had to run on the track, along with a bunch of tourists today. But I was able to chase around this one Porsche, which looked like it had a lot of modifications done to it. 
from the suspension to the roll cage. Unfortunately, we couldn't time the lap today, but from my experience of running on this track here in Nürburgring, the car is faster than the NSX, especially in the tight corners. In mid to high speed corners, the NSX might be a bit quicker. I wanted a little more precision and more response from the steering, but it is still a prototype. The car's overall performance really impressed me today. I was told that this car is kind of heavy, but you don't feel the weight when you drive this thing. I had the top down today, which should have been bad aerodynamically, but the car accelerated well even going straight uphill, where you get up to about 125 miles per hour. I didn't have my eye on the speedometer all the time, so I'm not sure, but I had to be going around 120 to 130 miles per hour, which means that this car matches up well to the NSX.